So I finally bit the bullet and got me a nice saw. I've always wanted a nice bigger saw for cutting bigger trees. Like this here white oak and poplar. And after helping Justin all last weekend cut some massive trees with that little MS-311 and a MS-391 or two, I think it was. Um, I decided that I wanted something with a little more power. And I think I finally got, got it. It's got a 25-inch uh, bar on it. That's what it come with. It'll run probably up to a 36 if you need to run a bar that big. So, But I figured I'd get that one. The other ones have a 20-inch so I can cut. This one will cut 10 inches more if you go all the way around versus the other saw. So I'm going to uh, fire it up here and cut some logs out of this see how it does. Hopefully it'll tear right on through them. So we went on a mission this morning and got Justin's little snowplow truck. All in all, it's a nice little truck. Justin, don't run away from the camera. You got to talk. <clears throat> he needed a, a little dump truck and it pretty much bought a plow and the dump truck come with it. Yeah. It's got a little rust on the bed, but other than that, you can fix that up. Yeah. A little yeah. welding. A little welding. Take care of that. Got brand new tires put on it yesterday. Yeah, on the back. Uh, Dayton two. I got. They're supposed to be 10 22.5s. That's what's on the front. But I got these low profiles at a better price. They're 295, 75, 22.5s. Mm-hmm. So let's check our plow out. Yeah. That way he can. You want me to demonstrate? Yeah, it? might as well demonstrate it. Okay. It goes up and down, left and right. Yeah. Nice little little plow truck for our three days a year it snows <laughs> he's gonna get into the driveway grading business <laughs> We can dump it in spread. We can, yeah. <laughs> you can knock down the little hump in the driveway and spread tailgate, spread some stone. Let's raise it up. We gotta get that stone out of the truck. Or the bed. It's got doggone a half a ton of ABC in the bed and some weeds. Probably from the last time they snow plowed, they dumped it in there. Might have to take that excavator here and rake it out. <laughs> I'd take that excavator and take the back of the bucket and scratch it out. Would you like to film this process? Yeah, I'll film the process. Don't mess up my battery box cover up there. The little plastic thing covers my batteries up. Oh, you probably need that out of here, don't you? Yeah. I'll get it out of here. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you're good enough. Uh, it rained last night pretty good, but uh, yeah, this is this is the lot here that I'm clearing. <laughs> How about you let me change it? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Let me pick that up. Alright, got 
about it with a fan. Load of gravel. <laughs> Get some more though. Whoop! I get around here where you can see it. Oh yeah. That's pretty clean. So got that the much. The brush out. Huh? The brush will get the, the rest out. out. Yeah, I'm gonna try and haul some of that brush with it. So. If you take the tailgate off. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So, that's my little plow truck. I think it's a little decent. Keep back 50 feet. Keep, yeah, keep back 50 feet over there on the <laughs> side. Be sure to do that. Safety first. Yeah, that's He's going to attempt to move the, the truck out of the way. It's, uh... All right. That's Emmanuel. 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 He's going to try to move the truck over. I do believe it's... I don't think the tarp works. Probably, probably just a loose wire. Yeah, I got power. You got power to the switch. It is automatic, though. It's automatic. Yeah. What'd you say? It's, what kind of motor's in it? DT-466. DT-466. Yeah. A clean little truck. It's just stuck right now. I know it's stuck. Over. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> I know you're sliding down. I told you it was not a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. All right, just try, try it one more time. <laughs> Not working. I don't want to push on the aluminum tailgate. Yeah, don't be pushing on it. It'll be It'll dry out by spring. <laughs> oh, let's take some trees there. Justin doing his thing. It's a big one. He's downhill in the mud, so that's not helping anything. Don't dig beside the white oak unless you're gonna take them both down. See what his plan is here. We're gonna take the white oak down now. Push. Timber, now the red oak. Hey, that's the horn. The horn works. Timber! 
All right, I guess I gotta go to work now. I gotta play with my new chainsaw.
get another one? Yeah. One ninety eight. I like it too. You like me cutting it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You love that, don't you? <laughs> I'll cut up the next one. <laughs> it's, oh yeah, we're foaming out here. Uh, steam. Steam. Foam. No, not foam. <laughs> it's steam. Use your words. <laughs> it's, Use your words. <laughs> it's steam. It's steam. All right, okay. All right, we're out. Big scoop. Oh, got it. Get those roots. Big roots. Stop it. Arr. Big ripping action. I didn't see anything rip up. Going for the other side. Oh, mega scoop. Yeah. Give her a nudge. She'll fall over now. Come on. He's on a hill and it's muddy. I don't know. Uh, she got a good tap root. <laughs> Not yet. Easy there. You got a, a dead branch above you. Waller it out a little more. Those roots broke up. Right there. Stop it. There you go. Good job. Now it ought to go now. Push. He's sliding. Oh, Lord. Dig around the front a little bit. There you go. Got some good roots on that one. It might go now. Being lowered in the tree doesn't really help anything at all. Maybe now. Get up high. That's not really the way to do it, but. Push. Aaron, she don't want to give up. <laughs> I ain't coming over yet. Keep digging. Keep digging. Don't get too there, feisty with it, grasshopper. They're getting mad with it now. He needs to dig out a couple of scoops in the front side. Rake some dirt down where he's sitting. That one won't gonna, gonna fall over. It's snowing now. We'll let him dig a little more. Just what it needed, a little more. Remember. 